Through KUAM, a recording of our 12.10 p.m. daily masses will also be broadcasted at 4 o'clock p.m. daily, Monday through Saturday, on KUAM TV Channel 8. Prayer to obtain graces through the intercession of St. Faustina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, who filled St. Faustina with profound veneration for your boundless mercy, Deign, if it be your holy will, to grant me, through her intercession, the grace for which I fervently pray. My sins render me unworthy of your mercy, but be mindful of Sister Faustina's spirit, sacrifice, and reward her virtue by granting the petition, which, with childlike trust, I present to you through her intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good afternoon, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate Friday, the fifth week of Lent. Our Mass intentions are Imbida for Marie M. Cruz, Patricia M. Sablon, Paul and Rose Calvill and family, Joshua Tetauto, Mark Gogui, Leah Rose Gogui, Michael Gogui, Christian Rodriguez, Kathy Ilagan, Santa Maria Camelin, Drake, Gwen, and Danny Kotoku. Pro Informorum for Julie Diaz, Brianna Kuntzman, Elizabeth D. Mendiola, Sean E. Mendiola, Elizabeth Kinata, Haley Rossetti, Hugh Dominguez, Romy Wang, Rosalie C. Cruz, Zachary St. Nicholas, Joseph M. Tetauto, Teresita M. Tetauto, John M. Gogui, Joseph M. Gogui, Doris Baskin, Justine Santos, Mary Lay, James Baskin, Art Ilagan, and Francisco Salas. Animas, first anniversary for Raymond Cahill, Cristobal C. Duenas, Anna C. Scholing, Frank D. and Carmen Perez, Ruth and Ambrosio Shimizu, Dwayne W. Flores, Francis C. Gogui, Francisca Franquis, John C. Pablo, Tatik Sauder, Perfecto Galman, Tomas D. Mendiola, Isabel D. Mendiola, Tomas F. Mendiola, Concepcion C. Duenas, Jose C. Duenas, Esther L. G. Benaventi, Marilyn Roberts, Sylvia Blas Mendiola, Lorenzo F. Pablo, Franklin C. Blas, Maria I. Cruz, 10th death anniversary for Francisco A. Rivera. Special intentions for all medical health care professionals locally and around the world, all first responders and essential government officials. The presider for our Eucharist is Monsignor James Benaventi. Let us pray the Angelus and the prayer for healing victims of abuse. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer for healing victims of abuse. Holy Spirit, comforter of hearts, heal your people's wounds and transform brokenness into wholeness. Grant us the courage and wisdom, humility and grace to act with justice. Breathe wisdom into our prayers and labors. Grant that all harmed by abuse may find peace and justice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Entrance Antiphon. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine, perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I've entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are God's. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good afternoon to all of you. We're home. Um, no secret that I have been in quarantine for the past 21 days. Not 14 days, but uh, 21 days, as was uh, recommended uh, by my doctor, and I obliged. And thankfully, uh, all is well. So that means that I have not celebrated Mass in 21 days. So as you could imagine, yesterday being my first day uh, emerging from quarantine, I was so excited uh, to be able to come and celebrate the Eucharist. So here I am this Friday afternoon, excited to celebrate the Eucharist with you. I come in here into the chapel, and it's an empty chapel. Like all churches and all chapels around the island, that are empty. But although our churches and chapels are empty today, I know that in our hearts, in our heart that we are filled with Christ in our hearts, that Christ is with us, and that the efficacy of the Mass celebrated even in private uh, transcends even uh, empty churches and chapels. Like many of you at home, I too celebrated and, and uh, was able to attend Mass along with you uh, while you were at home and while I was in my room. So we were very much united in Christ through the celebration of the Eucharist wherever and whenever the Eucharist is celebrated for us here on our island as well as abroad. I was speaking to a woman who wanted to speak to me and we were talking on the phone, and she was sharing with me she was feeling uh, a sense of abandonment and not knowing exactly where to go and what to do uh, because she was just recently um, uh, confirmed to be positive with the uh, COVID uh, virus. And so that, of course, uh, troubled her deeply, and it was something that was very difficult for her to embrace. But what made it even more difficult was that when they discovered that her husband was also uh, confirmed positive uh, with the virus. So that was a lot for her to take in. But to further compound the weight with which and the magnitude of what she was carrying in her sh on her shoulders as well as in her heart is also being told that her daughter was also confirmed with the virus. And it made it even more difficult with all this is the uncertainty that perhaps her parents were also positive. And so it is something with which she had placed in the hands of God. But in my discussion, she was troubled and, and, and she was very much uh, in distress because, you know, her whole world was, was coming apart. And there is a sense of uh, the need to isolate one from the other. Uh, as well as from the community. So there's a sense of abandonment, and she was feeling that 
perhaps, uh, you know, what is all this uh, to mean for her with regard to her own faith? And I simply shared with her that really the most important thing for her to keep in mind is her relationship with God. That regardless of what happens to her, to any one of us, that it is God whom we must place first in our own lives. So I asked her to do that. I said, right now, there is absolutely nothing more important than God. Not our homes, uh, not our property, not our vehicles, uh, none of our material uh, uh, possessions is going to give us satisfaction. And, and in, in a sense, we have been uh, devoid of all these things. I think our sense of priority has changed tremendously because we don't have to go to work. We can't go to work, can't go to school. And, and so we are confined by ourselves in isolation. So I also gave her some uh, scriptural uh, verses, passages for her to reflect on. And, all, and I just simply said to her, Rely and trust in God who would never, ever abandon you. And God is most present, especially for those who are sick, so that for her to come to realize his presence in her own life. This she was able to do. This she was able to allow to come into her own heart, allow God to come into her heart to realize how loved she was. And so she has told me that she has been able to do that. And only when she was able to surrender and allow God to take over everything was she able to sense, feel that sense of freedom, sense of liberation, sense of peace that, that no one can give her at this point in her own life. Imagine the burden that she was enduring in her own life that she continues to bear. But it is only through God, through the celebration of the Eucharist that we are celebrating here, that she's come to realize that she is deeply, deeply and profoundly loved and embraced by God even in her suffering. And so as we gather here in this celebration, the Eucharist, as we are facing uh, many uncertainties, let us place our trust in God. It is only God with whom we can rely on at this time. Let us wholeheartedly surrender ourselves to God like this woman had done in her own life and be able to find peace, a sense of comfort in her own life as well as in ours. And as we, uh, continue with our celebration of the Eucharist, may we reflect on our responsorial psalm, which psalms it up. Our psalm says, in my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In the midst of uncertainties, in the midst of the distress that we are enduring in our own lives, let us call upon the Lord, who hears our voice. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve every fittingly at your altars, and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the 
authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, Jude, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form, pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross so that dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Act of Spiritual Communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you as if you, you are already there. Keep me close to you each day. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have just received and ever give us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of St. Faustina, may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Abi Maria Purissima, Simpicada Concibida, Abi Maria Bulahal Gracia.